let's just call it that. In today's fucking build, we're going with a with a pipe hitter, fucking blacksmithing. Yeah, like a blacksmith and then, you know, ranger warrior. Because they actually have them in the fucking uh, Celtic Wars, right? It used to whip them fucking Brit's ass before they, uh, before they finally got wise. <laughs> Again, if I thought this was a glitch, I wouldn't be uh, showing you guys how to do this, right? It's still a grind, right? Medieval is a grind. I don't care what you're playing. Warhammer, whatever. Uh, but fucking what game isn't? I want to ask you that. This is also a game on PC that you can mod. But this is vanilla copy. This was just installed. So I guarantee you there's no like mods going on here. Driving on. So basically the Empire is going to be Rome. It's going to be the Empire. The Sturgeons are going to be, you know, the North, uh, you know, Vikings and uh, that that type of Nordic, you know, type type motherfucker, right? I wouldn't want to mess with them anyway. So, the Vladians, so they're going to be more like Christians, right? Uh, the Crusaders, so to speak. The Azeri, they're more like, um, I would say, like nomads in the desert, right? Back in the day, right? Say, the Crusaders right here, right? They would they would have holy wars, right? But the nomads, right? So, even back then, you know, holy war, right? Wow, that's crazy, right? To think that... You know, we haven't moved from that type of fucking shit. The Kuzates, basically, they're the Mongoloid tribe, right? There's some badass archers in there. Obviously, the Batanians are, you know, obviously that's Britain. But back in the medieval days, it wasn't necessarily British, right? So, that's where Wales, Welsh, Celtic, Scotland, you know, basically, uh, your Celtic warriors would uh, have come out of Britannia. So that's what we're tracking with, you know, staying with uh, the badass heritage of the Celts behind us, right? So we'll go ahead and drive on. A good thing about this actually is Forest gives 10% less speed penalty to parties. So if you're getting chased perhaps, or perhaps you want to lure someone into the forest, right? Then you can buck them up because they're going to have 10% less basically turbo or speed uh than you however it doesn't affect endurance from what i understand oh wait i will give you a pro tip though a lot of times instead of uh building from the base here i'll just go ahead and randomize it and then what i really concentrate on because all the bodies are basically the same right it's like the kardashians right they're all fucking smoking hot the bodies are all the fucking same whatever really i'll focus on more of the face as i randomize tat shit like that you know obviously you can uh change up so not bad looking but trust me we are going to be fully plated we're going to have so much freaking ice and bling on us like we're going to get some and have like hundreds of men under us. <laughs> you know. Go ahead, Michael. That's what she said. So let's hit the next. For our blacksmith warrior today, a couple things you're going to have to know now. So, Vigor, basically, you're one handed, you're two handed, and you're two handed axe type weapons, right? Battle axes, right? Control is going to be your bow and arrow, your crossbow, and your throwing weapon. So, now, here's the thing. I really enjoy archery. Uh, Shouts out to Mexican Bean 5 c This is going to actually interact well with what we actually need, which would be endurance, see? Now, the thing about endurance is blacksmithing is a skill of endurance. You tracking with me? This is kind of confusing, right? A horseman, a part of endurance athleticism is actually a part of endurance as well so cunning social and intelligence like you know this would be like with the kardashians and shit right like the social skills right and then the intelligence as well is not a bad attribute in my opinion right cunning it's okay you know this that or another so just remember vigor control endurance cunning social intelligence right so vigor we definitely want that because the way that this is going to set up, we're a blacksmith, right? But we're also a freaking ranger. We're a Celtic fucking ranger, right? So, with that being said, we would like to have some of these skills over, say, you know, the Kardashian skill or even the cunning skill. But it all depends on what you want. Again, this is the fucking blacksmith warrior build. So, I don't want anybody getting all upset when we're pounding fucking steel. That's what she said, right? But there's nothing wrong growing up, right? Being a hard worker. Hard work. 
Hard work, well, hard work. Foresters. Huh? It's not going to work. So, yes, I would love to come from the freaking personal chiefs, you know, select hitters, right? However, I come from humble backgrounds, right? So, the Smiths, right? We get a solid tick on the skill set itself. Huh? You tracking on that specialty skill, right? Skill set and a specialized skill. Huh? And you get two handed for our merc activities. Right? So, here I can tell you that you're going to want to pick the attention to detail because you get endurance and as well as you get one handed. And there's not another set as far as the Celtic set now I'm, I'm speaking of, right? That uh, every culture is different. However, I don't believe you can only max the smith set out at like three i believe is is pretty much what i what i've heard right however if you can max it out the five let me know again hey to you so obviously docks and building sites ties in with the smith plus we get an endurance i mean that's just a fucking bonus tracking on as a youngster growing up in Colorado. Let's call that fucking Colorado. American. Goddamn America. Now, I rode with the scouts going back to what I said about endurance, right? So, this is like a skill set. And this would be your, you know, AIT. Or for you fucking sugar cookies. Advanced individual training. Riding is definitely, definitely something that you want. You want to have some fucking, you know, uh, horsemanship in your game, right? Especially being like light, fast cab, right? The light cavalry, so to speak, right? <clears throat> scouts out, motherfucking scouts out. Or, right, fast reactionary, right? Lead the way. So, for the 75th Legion Blacksmith, motherfucking warrior. Warriors. So, that's a good one. You know, as far as, like, the Kardashian skill here and all this bullshit, I'm not really worried about it right now. So you invested some money in a workshop. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Motherfucking dinero makes the world go round, right? So if we're going to fund a fucking army, boys, not just an army, but a motherfucking legion, right? If we're going to fund the 75th legion in this game. We better fucking, you know, I'm glad as a fucking youngster that El Rangio decided to, uh, hey man, that might be his name, El Rangio. Uh, decided to invest, right? That's me as a young lad, you know what I'm saying? But I still got them fucking cauliflower ears because, you know, me and my fucking brothers, man, you know, we'd wrestle. Actually, I got two brothers IRL. We all wrestled. We had like that, uh, that Grable connection for all you fucking wrestlers out there, you know. So anyway, you invest in some money before you sat out for the life of an adventure. So, our background here. But that's my broheem right there, right? So, after all that shit happened, you know, parents got raped, all that shit. Did I subdue a raider? Well, that's a possibility, because look at that again, man. You gotta have that athleticism, boys, right? You gonna make it through goddamn Q school at the Legion? Hey, you better have some goddamn fucking athleticism to you, right? So, we motherfucking took him down. That's why we got the cauliflower here. We took him down and submitted that motherfucker, man. It says subdued, it should say submitted. The motherfucking goddamn raider. You voice tracking? Huh? So, at the end of the day, right, the rangers here, the rangers, right, even though he's looking a little fucking like a. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure I made him taller and. You know, he's looking like something from, like, what, Harry Potter or some shit. He's looking like, like the Hobbit or some shit. Ooh, you know what's funny though? He will slit your motherfucking guts if you sit there and call him a hobbit to his face. He's goddamn blacksmith fucking ranger, man. Paladin ranger right there. Anyway, boys, tracking on. I get caught up in my own bullshit sometimes. So, yeah, so as you can see here on our specialty, we're going to have a goddamn two bars up on the comp, on the bigger, right? That's good for our warrior side, right? Plus, we have, on our specialty, you know, one. But overall, our vigor is like, you know, it's not looking too bad at a uh, squat, though, right? So, at Trace, that's not too bad. But this is huge here, though. This. This right here. The three ticks. On fucking athleticism and motherfucking 
blacksmith man man get the fuck out of here although you know our cunning and uh our kardashian and uh you know all this fucking happy bullshit non-warrior category right here boys non-fucking warrior categories so we can let that slide this is badass all right so this looks fucking good to hook man all right so you'll at the starting training build here right but quickly a few hours later a lot of lot of select the name all right so once you name it you go ahead and set up your uh your flag or your banner to set that up real quick pretty sure i know what it is so yeah, yeah so that would be representing the three bats i guess we could say that and then the interlocking uh triangles if you know anything might be a little delta bar there too so that's it okay so now we're gonna look at where we're gonna be traveling to uh one thing i do want to know though is that we need to get all these materials right here okay we got a thousand bucks we're gonna be uh getting these materials here right two mules uh you know grain obviously but the Puggio is definitely uh something that we're gonna need uh at least one maybe two the mule we're gonna need those blacksmith hammer those and then the hardwood at least two but we're gonna get as many as we can yeah so that's what we're gonna need and again you could stop anywhere and look for these items yeah but again uh being celtic uh britannian you know our area of operations i'll let you know now to start this method and start this career if you will is going to be uh so cnon and andam and that's going to be up north in britannia however you know the biggest challenge to here is getting those supplies as stated and then also not getting caught up by looters or raiders yeah so we're gonna go ahead and start tracking there again along the way they you can stop at any castles or kingdoms and get those items so that's really what we're gonna be doing now so I'm thinking we might work our way up the uh, west coast here and just stop in and you know hopefully we'll just get these items before it gets uh, you know annoying Alright, so once we make it here, again ensuring, you know, that your smith stamina is 100 of 100 right there. And then so let's go ahead and find some charcoal. I'll go to hardwood for three. That's the perk we just picked. Then we'll go over to smell, smell all our weapons out. Keep an eye on our stamina. Alright, <clears throat> right. and then we'll go into forge. Make sure it's on T banded. Yeah, we're gonna have to go rest anyway. Why, yeah. yeah. Say, so I usually give it one or two days. That's about it. Okay. So we're back to 100. Again, make sure two handed sword. Make sure size is maximized. That's what she said. Okay, and then you just forge it right, boys. Two-handed, pretty much broadsword. All right, there it is. Crafted two-handed, and then done. New setting. We got some stuff unlocked here. I don't think we can craft another that. Set tick out of us only 25. I mean, we can see now. Nah. Okay, so that's okay. 
Then back out, go into our character. Oh. So in the character, you can see that we've uh, upgraded our smithing skills by whatever it was, uh, 16 points, just in that little amount of time. That's another uh, tactic to this method. So now we'll go into trade and you'll see here, we'll go ahead and try to sell this. And as you can see, we're going to make $1,037 every time. Now uh, don't forget, you can't talk to these uh, cream pups up here um, because again, this is a great location and uh, you know, hopefully one day it'll be ours. Oh my god, are you kidding me dude? They have eight of them. So basically operators in closing, this will be the skill sets that you'll want to pick as you advance in your smithing career. Again, great way to make buku buku freaking blooms yeah you'll be leaking gold out of every orifice so with that being said you guys have an amazing day today i hope tomorrow's amazing i hope yesterday was amazing for you tell all your friends about our channel one time snipe like snipe a sub my boops i'll catch you next video because that's how we roll shield wall Bowman! Forward! Move! Forward!